Hey, you don't have to How's it going? I want to know, this is a different production, obviously, which you're going to have to be interested to see. Mm-hmm. How is the change? How is the change? Uh, it's, it was pretty, actually, we shot this pilot while I was shooting, you're talking about Preacher, I guess. Yeah, we shot this pilot while I was shooting uh, season one of Preacher. I came to LA and shot this pilot, went back and, and was shooting Preacher. Uh, so it was a pretty abrupt change, but it, because it was a lot of the same people, um, and everyone on this show is so awesome, it was uh, it was a relatively smooth transition, and you know, uh, fun. I mean, it's super fun. It's like. Eliza and I look at each other all the time, we're like, I can't believe we get to do this, you know, start little laser guns, and it's awesome. So, yeah. As you continue to build into the characters, I think you find you're surprised to learn about yourself. About myself or about the character? Yourself. Uh, you know, that's really interesting. Uh, I don't know specifically, he's, it, it, it's hard to talk about what happens um, without giving anything away, but uh, he's, uh, I love his uh, open. He 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 opens himself up to learning uh, certain aspects about the world, and yeah, that's kind of encouraged me to do the same. I think he's uh, and he's a, he's just a really awesome character. That's uh, he's a, he's a child, really. So it's like the more I can get back to that sort of childlike innocence, um, the more fun life can be. I think. So that's something. Maybe that he'll encourage that in other people. So with Hulu and Amazon, like I mean, they've kind of um, the way they've formatted. You can binge watch on this show. Yeah. And I'm wondering, um, in terms of if you know the whole thing from start to finish about the show, would you prefer that people binge watch or? See it like episode. I mean, you know, if, if, if people like to binge watch, then yeah, they should. If, if they are inclined to be burnt out by the fifth episode and tired and falling asleep, then yeah, save it for the next day, you know. Uh, I think this is a very binge watch, watch watchable show. Uh, they're quick half hour episodes, they move really quick, just like the pilot. Um, and it does leave you, I mean, as we were making it with the scripts, I was dying to know what happens next. You know, it's just, it's really uh, expertly serialized and uh, fun in that way. So, if you do enjoy binging, then of course, yeah, binge it. Well, just as a quick follow-up to that, as people who, I guess, have to cover these things, I mean, how do you recommend we deal with spoilers? I mean, if you have a situation where someone's like seeing the whole thing like in a, you know, 12-hour, you know, stretch or 10-hour stretch. Right. How, how do how, I handle... How do, how do you recommend, like, for people who write about these shows, like, in terms of spoilers or... Don't spoil it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, if if, uh, if there's something you really enjoyed and you just can't wait to talk about it, then let someone else experience that too, you know. Uh, but, yeah, you can hint that there's great stuff coming, of course. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't give anything specific away. Well, you said, you know, your character is very childlike, you like getting in touch with that. Um, how did you prepare for your role? Did you do any sort of, like, how do you get in character? Uh... Uh, well, with the, okay, so uh, with the the pilot, I came onto this about three days before we started shooting the pilot. And I, like I said, I was shooting preacher, and uh, um, so it was. I show up on set, and I think Evan. Um, you know, I was still trying to find what the character was. It's you know, it's insane. This guy, he's a badass warrior. He he, he lives in sewers. He eats garbage and rats. Like that's what you have to go on. Go. It's like okay, all right. And then you know, we were playing with voices, and I think Evan said something like, "Just do, just start with like a, just do like a generic Batman voice for now." And then and then and then it sort of grew out into Wolf's voice. Uh, so it it sort of started from the outside in, which is kind kind of uh, different from how I usually work on Preacher, it was very sort of, Donnie was like, you know, stewing on the inside and bubbling out more, uh, but this guy's very, he's got a hard shell, and so that's, what's fun about yeah. this is through the season how that kind of breaks okay. down. Um, 
So yeah, I also great. Thank you. I, for some reason, I was like, all right, I, I gotta. I on one day before we I went to set to shoot, I said the entire play of of, uh, of Macbeth. I just said it out loud. I said the whole thing, and uh, just to like find a voice, like help find that voice. So that was another thing. Yeah, weird. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's time travel, so it's built in. You know, you, you, if you're if you're gonna go to the '60s, then you should see that the doors are playing. You know, there should be. You should feel. I mean, the way it's shot looks like the '60s. Like if you notice when you look at the show, the way the way the actual show looks cinematically changes, and they do that in each time period with colors and, and um, framing and just the way it's shot. So uh, it plays in, in in many ways, style. And, and I think it, it uh, I mean, at least for me, it, it hooks me in, you know, Back to the Future references. That movie was huge for me growing up, and when I see it referenced, it's it's exciting to me, you know? I, I immediately have a hook, and it's, it's, it's a new spin on it, so. Uh, it's just, it's a fun thing to play with. Which was your favorite time period to shoot at your Uh, <laughs> well, since Ben mentioned 1985, I'll say uh, I, I like the 80s, you know, 80s. And you see that in the trailer, you see, you see some of the 80s, so I'm not getting anything. Uh, but the 80s are really fun. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Uh, I've, I've already, I've already mentioned. So I, I'm a huge Shakespeare nerd. Um, yeah, when I first moved to New York to be an actor, that's what I would do. To, uh, I would just read Shakespeare plays like all the time. Uh, and so I, I'm a little out of practice now, but I. I know quite a bit. Of, I have have known quite a bit of the the canon, so that's pretty nerdy, but cool too. I mean, you know, nerd is a badge of honor, right? <laughs> Did you watch Will? The, the I started watching. Yeah, I started watching. It's cool. I binged it. I love it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean anything. You know, that's. I would love for us to go to Elizabethan England. I would love for Wolf to, you know, play Richard the Third. And you know, you can see it, right? It's like, yeah. So maybe. It's a different level of nerd. I like that. Yeah, that's, man. That's a good answer. Yeah, yeah. I hear that Shakespeare nerd. I guess so. Yeah, drama nerd. I'm drama nerd. Drama. I like it. Yeah. I think they'll leave it up to your own. I mean, look, we fight for the resistance, right? It, that, that already strikes a chord, you know. Uh, but that's to me, right? It, that may not. Everyone watching the show may not pick. It, it, it'll do different things for different people. You know, it's not blatant. It's not on the nose. Uh, but sure, I mean, it's there in anything if you if you want to see it. Right? Uh, I mean, almost anything. But uh, yeah. Yeah, you could find that, for sure. It's certainly as this season continues. Sorry, you guys, I have to move on to the next cool. table. I should Thank have you guys. Thank you. Bye-bad, wasn't looking at the timer. Good question. Thank you.